I don't just want you to stay away from me. I'd also like for you to stay away from Vanessa. What does everyone seem to know that I don't? I have announced that I'll be running as a candidate for district attorney. Growing up in a rough neighborhood like the South Side that was plagued with poverty and crime, it wasn't easy. Do you want me to tag along? Thanks for the offer, Ben. But I know my neighborhood. I can handle it on my own. Are you going to be less of a grouch today, JJ? If you're referring to the fact that I'm going to be an older brother in the coming months, then you don't have to worry. I'm beginning to accept the fact that there's going to be a little Dorval running around this place in the future. And your views on Max? Give up, Vanessa. My views on your little boyfriend will never change. Wow, Udell. I can't remember the last time you came to greet me when I made it back home. Because I'd like to know if you knew. Knew about what? Did you know that Owen Grant would be running for district attorney in next year's election? And we just want you to know that despite everything that transpired earlier this year, this family has your full support, Heidi. Thank you, Lorenzo. It really means a lot. But I'm sure that I can win this election without breaking a sweat. You sure about that? Welcome to Beauty From Within. I'll be able to help you out in a moment. Hey, Jackie. Quinn? I go by Quinlan now. Whatever you call yourself, come here, baby girl. My baby. You're telling me that there's nothing that can be done to drop this hostility towards Max. I gave him a chance and he blew it. Be real, JJ. I doubt you made it easy for him. That's what you think, Vanessa. It was honestly a simple request. What sort of request? All I did was ask him to let you go. I had no idea that Owen would be running for district attorney. Besides, you know that we're no longer friends. Well, I just assumed that he'd try to reach out to you and share the exciting news, Wanda. He wouldn't have been able to, even if he tried, since I blocked his number and banned him from Confidence Designs. It shouldn't have taken your betrayal to get all of that settled. Asador, you better be supportive. Relax, Lorenzo. I am being supportive, Dad, but Heidi's making it sound like this will be an easy task. Owen Grant is younger and charismatic. So what? I'm only 49, which means that I still have enough youth and charisma. Most of all, I have experience. Keep up that attitude. Don't let Esador discourage you in any way. Are you going to be standing by Heidi's side, Gianni? Of course. Why wouldn't I? I just want to make sure that Russo Jewelers doesn't get in the way of making sure that your wife doesn't experience a tight race. Girl, I have missed you so much. I ain't seen you since you graduated from high school. How many years has that been? It's been eight years, Jackie. You're looking good. What else you want me to do for you? I didn't come here to book an appointment. Came here to focus on what's important, huh? You finally ready to check up on your mama? Just when I thought you couldn't sink any lower. What about Max? He didn't stoop low, almost costing you your life? When Keith brought a gun to school? JJ, I have had it. I'm not going to listen to you blame Max for Keith's actions anymore. From now on, you can keep that to yourself. Have you forgotten about the other things Max has done? As if I expect Max to be perfect. Far from it. But I expect you not to forget that your little boyfriend lost his purity when he hooked up with Yvette last year. Can't say that I'm surprised that you brought that up again. All I'm saying is that you could have prevented a lot of heartache if you had only kept yourself from getting close to Owen in the first place. And I'm trying to make up for my mistakes, Udell. Have I honestly not made that known? I don't care that Owen is running for DA. I'm only concerned about rebuilding our marriage. Unfortunately, you can't bring anything back to life, Wanda. 
this isn't Heidi's first election. My work at Russell Jewelers won't get in the way. But Heidi hasn't run against anyone like Owen Grant before. Most of all, Heidi didn't experience any scandals in the prior elections. What exactly do you want from Gianni Esador? I want nothing from him. I'm only offering to help out my older brother. Help me out with what? Maybe I can lessen the workload you've got at the company. That way you can offer your wife extra support. I definitely didn't stop by to talk about my mother. And if you still visit her in prison, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention that I came by to visit you. What you mean if? Your mama's been my girl since we were little. Of course, I visit her at the prison whenever I can. And you're asking me to keep secrets about her own child? Please, Jackie. All right, all right. I won't say nothing. Can you at least tell me how Zeke is? I heard about that crazy white boy who brought the gun to the high school and took out Devante Torres' baby girl. As a matter of fact, I don't even think Devante's guilty for real. I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that the man belongs in prison and Zeke is fine, but we're getting off topic. I came here to ask you if you heard about the girl who was found in the suitcase, not too far away from here. Everyone around the South Side heard about that girl and I bet that's my girl, Danny. Max and I weren't even together when that happened. Most of all, he wasn't even saved then, but it still happened. Be honest with me, Vanessa. Do you honestly want to spend the rest of your life with a guy who already lost his virginity to the school sluts? Vanessa, JJ, we have some bad news. Great, more bad news. JJ, please, this is really important. What happened? It's Tati Rosaline. Is Tati okay? No, baby. We just heard that she passed away from the ALS. I knew that Tati wasn't going to be here long because of the illness, but it still hurts knowing that she's actually gone. What about Dee Dee? Our cousin just lost her mom, and she's going to need all of our support, especially since she's young and has lost a parent. You don't mean that. I wouldn't have said it if I didn't mean it, Wanda. I've already made it clear that I'm only staying with you for Yvette's sake. Oh, tell. You and I have loved each other long before our daughter was even born. Exactly. The love you and I have for each other is history. In fact, I wonder if it even existed. It did. Our love for each other is still alive. Except I can't seem to find that love anywhere. That's not happening, Esador. Wow. You're not even going to thank me for offering to carrying a load off of your back? Don't you mean that you're offering to sabotage my career? Why would I ever thank you for that? There you go, being your usual paranoid self. Let's just hope that flaw doesn't affect your wife's upcoming election. Don't listen to him, Heidi. I'm going to help you however I can. Thanks, Gianni. Glad I know that I can count on you to drop everything for me. Kimmy? Little Kimmy? My baby ain't a baby no more, Quinn. She's growing up on me. 14 years sure do fly by. Quinn, you're a reporter, ain't you? You doing a story on the girl? That's what I'm trying to do. What can you tell me about your friend, Danny? She been missing for days. She ain't been seen in school this year cause she dropped out last semester. My mom won't even let me call the cops. Cause calling the police is a waste of time, Kimmy. They ain't bothered about some missing black girl from the South Side and they sure ain't bothered about a black girl found with barely any clothes on. Besides, you don't know if the girl in the suitcase and Danny are the same people. Have some faith. What else can you tell me about your friend, Kimmy? Kimmy.